Hello, this is Solar PVTV from InterSolar Munich 2016, InterSolar Europe. And we are together with um, Tom Zhao, who is the general manager for solar business at uh, BYD. Uh, Ni hao, Tom. Hello, Thomas. So, Tom, uh, BYD. Some people they are asking why this company is named BYD. And actually, it's uh, Build Your Dreams. And I'm really fan of uh, the founder of BYD, of Mr. Wang Chuangfu, because um, he said when he was creating the company that I have three dreams actually. I would like to introduce PV, I would like to introduce storage, and I would like to introduce electric cars. And how your team is helping to realize the dream of Mr. Wang Chuangfu? Okay. Yeah, uh, BYD is a company which is uh, really aiming to uh, provide the total solution okay, for the renewable energy product. So this is not talking about only the power generation from solar and also the uh, power utilization okay, uh, rate okay, uh, uh, increasing by the storage system. But the most important thing is uh, we actually are also aiming to uh, uh, electrify all the vehicles which is uh, generate okay, the gas and also emission every day right, on, on the road right, to really uh, how to say, uh, create a big problem okay uh, to our living society so that's why okay uh, we actually so uh, you know uh, uh, trying to achieve hundred percent of the vehicle to be electrified however at that uh, at that time you get some uh, some something in the future right if it's a really achieve higher percentage of the electric vehicle in the market right the power consumption will be very very huge so the, the question here is uh, Okay, uh, are we going to burn uh, more? Okay, you know, fossil fuel energy. Okay, uh, to generate power, it doesn't really solve the problem because you just uh, move all this uh, emission uh, from here to that side, right? So this is not the right, right way to go. So that's why, okay, BYD is uh, really strategized, okay, to focus on the power generation coming from the renewable energy like solar because we think solar is exhausted, okay, uh, resources. Uh, the solar power energy can only generate, uh, you know, the power by, uh, you know, four hours or five hours maximum a day right so this is a uh, definitely not enough because uh, people mainly use the power at night time I, I'm seeing a lot of the uh, country or city right in, in the world right the, the peak hour of the power okay shortage is, is normally in the, in, in the, in the, in the night time right so at that time okay there's no sunlight right so so this is something that uh, people are saying okay we build a lot of the solar uh, energy uh, station right to the market right? but, uh, really are we really okay fully utilize that or not right so this is something that we see a uh, storage system can help to you know uh, maximize the usage of the renewable energy power we actually is so combining PV plus storage as a whole uh, solution that enable the, uh, uh, the solar power investors right they can generate power and also sell to any time that market required because so, actually uh, you are not only speaking about the product it's like uh, the business model yes exactly because uh, if you really uh, talk about uh, uh, the products right then okay you're just steering on a very small area in fact actually it's the whole renewable market in the future uh, continuous growth right it has to be really driven by the demand side so that's why we have to really look into the uh, the, the, the requirement from the markets and then uh, shooting for that market by providing very how to say sustainable solutions right to the to the investors actually uh, let's say in the uh, storage solutions you are very experienced also from other markets and uh, there is no problem yeah I would say for BID to scale up and also to introduce new technologies but with regards to the solar business because you are still not like one of the top uh, Five uh, I agree that the idea is not the top five yet. Okay, it's because of the uh, we think the current uh, uh, technology uh, in the solar okay uh, products is not really okay uh, ideal enough. For example, like the EVA material, which is having the uh, degradation okay uh, concern, right? Result in the uh, you know uh, lower efficiency. A fast job of the power and also even engage in the PID problem. So uh, we actually uh, think okay, uh, we need to really 
go uh, larger when we found the right uh, product te uh, technologies. So now uh, we actually come out the uh, new uh, module we call the uh, EVA free glass on glass module. So this module we think is the right thing, okay, uh, right technology uh, in, in, uh, in, the, in the future because uh, this uh, material is not using EVA anymore. Right. So the life, lifetime will be longer, of course. Yeah, the lifetime will be uh, as long as 50 years. Yeah, almost half century. And, uh, what are your plans in terms of the capacity uh, with regards to the, to the module side? Okay, so uh, we actually, uh, uh, starting from uh, this uh, new technology, we are on the way to uh, expansion now. So we actually so, uh, want to uh, achieve uh, 2 gigawatt first, based on our current 1.5 gigawatt. And then uh, uh, we are going to okay, eventually reach uh, around 5 gigawatt uh, with the new technology in the future. So Tom, yesterday it was quite an interesting moment because uh, you signed MOU with uh, Green Hedge and also with NBE for 150 megawatt of uh, solar plus storage in the UK. So it's also very interesting because it is UK, the market which was so big last year and everybody is now so skeptical. Could you tell us more about this project? Uh, UK market, uh, solar market is suffering with the uh, feeding tariff okay, uh, taking away, right? So that's why it's very really difficult to find okay, a large ground farm project. I mean, in other words, it's a uh, the large ground farm project. Okay, it's declining. Okay, uh, in in the future. Okay, a solar market in UK. However, we are seeing totally different moving direction. Okay, that we already okay uh, sign off a seven uh, seventy four megawatt hour system uh, already, and then uh, yesterday we also okay sign off about one hundred fifty megawatt hour system. Right. So this system actually is uh, uh, representing also give me a little okay uh, surprise that. Uh, under the, uh, the such a okay, uh, constrained uh, situation, right, in solar market in UK, we are seeing uh, such a big project like this, right? If we think about that, right, we, we can consider the common the common uh, feature of this uh, system is uh, they engage, they both engage the solar system into the solar uh, system, right? Why? Because uh, uh, they actually uh, try to maximize the uses, usage of the uh, solar energy uh, with the uh, you know uh, different mod, uh, different uh, multiple okay uh, you know uh, market. Uh, uh, segment uh, by using the story system uh, uh, enable them to do to achieve this target for example like uh, they can uh, charge the, the, the battery from the solar power and then they sell this power to different market uh, like okay uh, uh, capacity reservation like the frequency regulation like the enhanced frequency like, like, like uh, regulation markets and also like the wholesaler market right so all these kind of the uh, different market segment okay give the chance to the uh, investor that they can sell the uh, energy to different uh, market segments. So the facts already prove that um, the personally the ROI, okay, is about 10 years. Oh. Then after this uh, uh, multiple, okay, uh, market segment identified, right? Now they can achieve below five years. So this is something amazing. You that have proofs, yeah? Exactly. So this is something that okay we can summarize from this business model, okay? Combining PV plus storage, right? PV as an asset, you can use only once a day along with the sun arise and down, right? However, uh, if you engage with the, solar, uh, the story system, right? Then the, the story system allow you to use that, okay, uh, many times a day, charge, discharge, charge, and discharge, right? What about the mar emerging markets? Because, I mean, for emerging markets, it's only starting, yes? So people, they can go directly to, to, to this solution, yeah? Yes, the emerging market definitely, they, they, they might not have a, a such a, okay, a multiple, you know, uh, market uh, segment, right? But however, they are really short of power. So, uh, you know, the energy cost is not cheap. And also, the actually uh, some areas rely on the uh, diesel, right? They don't have a grid, yeah? And don't have a grid, right? So, uh, but with this kind of PV plus storage, right, they can build a micro grid or off grid system. They don't really spend a lot of money to build the, uh, you know, uh, the grid uh, networks, right? Digital, okay, power solution, right, can help, okay, people immediately, okay, uh, enjoy the power solution in their life. Okay, so how do you see the future of BYD? I think uh, BYD, uh, as a, uh, one of the employees of the company, we, we feel very proud uh, okay, of working in this company because uh, this uh, uh, product combination and solution right, is driven by BYD continuous efforts in the technology innovation right, on all aspects, right? uh, car, uh, electric vehicle, the solar, and also the, you know, the uh, uh, battery. Right? And this one actually is a uh, key thing is uh, we need to really look into the uh, demand side. We will continue to focus on the demand side, and all your uh, uh, R&D, all technology development has to be focused on the people requirement. Then you can okay really find a lot of amazing okay markets that you can create 
right? And then, okay, you can definitely uh, bring all your partner together, right? To go uh, and invest on that and enjoy the business, okay? Uh, you know, uh, investment on higher uh, meaningful return, okay? If your the founder also is coming from the scientific world, yeah? Of course, because, uh, you know, technology is the only thing that makes things happen. So technology is, will be, you know, um, how to say, uh, change, uh, you know, the, 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 the life of the, you know, uh, in the future that we are living, right? So green energy, zero... It's technology disruption, actually. Of course, of course. So green, uh, green energy or, or zero emission, okay, environment, okay, it will be the, the target that BYD and Jim uh, for, for the future, right? So that's why we are going to keep our efforts uh, on this area for, you know, uh, for the days that uh, we can achieve uh, in the future, yeah. And I think it's also very interesting, you know, that Warren Buffett invested in BYD, yeah? And this guy is not investing in something that doesn't work, yeah? Yes, yes. Warren Buffett is also a, a very a vision, a vision of, okay, uh, uh, people. So uh, he actually is, uh, you know, uh, choosing a BYD among so many, okay, common in the world, right? It's because, uh, you know, he actually is also sharing the same vision as ours. So he actually is also okay, really uh, recognize our, uh, you know, our president, Mr. Wang Chuan Fu's uh, vision, right? They say, okay, he's doing the right thing to do. And also they actually so keep uh, developing all these things, investment on this technology, right? Eventually, uh, it will be a result in the very, okay, how to say, great, okay, you know, uh, achievement in the future. Okay, Tom, so thank you so much, and uh, it was a pleasure to speak with the company, which is leading the solar and clean energy disruption. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much, Thomas. Yeah. That was Solar PV TV from InterSolar Europe 2016, together with Tom Zhao, who yesterday started the solar disruption. Thanks for watching.